This multimodal book review will discuss the literary and visual elements of the picture book The Eleventh Hour by Graham Bass. This story is told in rhyme and follows the events of Horace the Elephant's 11th birthday party. He invites his friends to play games and eat a huge feast. However, the mystery unfolds when the feast disappears before the 11th hour. Did someone say mystery? I've heard there's a crime that's been committed. Let's get to work. One of the initial scenes in this book is the arrival. The salience of this scene is to introduce the protagonist and develop character. The author does this by using imagery, and he describes this swan as an enchanting sight, the tiger as handsome, and the giraffe's halos as two shiny golden rings. The author uses allusion and alliteration in the text to engage the reader, such as the cat was Cleopatra, queen of Egypt, and the mouse came as a musketeer, his head and hat held high. The vector draws the reader from the outside of the pages towards the center by the lines of the driveway and the animal's gaze. The characters are in close proximity and there is little negative space indicating familiarity between the animals. The illustration has vibrant colors outside of the property and sharper textures leading to lighter hues and lower textures inside signifying the new unknown adventure. The poker game is a clever scene, made engaging by the authorial and illustrative choices. The pig procured a pack of cards is an example of alliteration. A string of luck is an idiom, much like the title of the book The Eleventh Hour, and the author uses a pun when he refers to the pig as a porker to say he was lying. The long vertical lines of the chairs and their solid block-like shape and texture show their significance and frame the formality of the game. The vector draws the reader to the centre through both the vertical and the horizontal thirds of the illustration, where the four card players are facing each other. The reader follows the gaze of the pig to the top right-hand corner to reveal how the pig was cheating, enhancing the meaning of the text. The pig is placed at a higher level through the angle of vision showing his dominance, inherited by cheating. This is contrasted with the snakes and ladders scene, where the character's body language is more relaxed and the angle of vision shows them as equals. The hide-and-seek and chess scenes provide many examples of literary devices. Her eyes were large and bright is an example of imagery. While the cat's success was small, the, and the rhino and the zebra sat in silence, deep in thought, are examples of metaphors to help paint a picture in the reader's head. These scenes are pivotal illustrations to the mystery. The vector in both illustrations starts in the foreground with the main participant before moving to the background and the negative space. The angle of vision is intentionally inverted and frames similarly through the background with the temple and the marquee. This is well used by the illustrator to enhance the salience, which is the presence of all but one of the characters and the disappearance of the feast. The clock is also a repeated symbol throughout the book and the reader uses this to determine when the crime was committed. The illustrations are powerful in the scene to support the dialogue of the guests debating who stole the feast. Dividing lines and the placement of characters are used to sequence the dialogue and frame the scene, while the symbol of the question marks and the shocked expression of the characters are used to signify a mystery. The cat's fur has a strong and sharp texture, and the surrounding background has a fierce red glow to show the anger from being accused. Soft rounded scales in the crocodile and direct gaze with the reader signify desperation and innocence. This book effectively uses literary devices and elements of design to complement the detailed illustrations and enhance the story. Additional use of shapes, symbols, codes and ciphers are hidden throughout the illustrations and assist observant readers to solve the mystery. This timeless story makes for an engaging and educational picture book for Year 4 students with a puzzling mystery. Can you figure out who the thief is?